What is the difference between Rafa's bib tights? Now that is a question a lot of people have and it's one that I'm going to answer today by taking a look at four different pairs of tights from their lineup, starting with their core models and going all the way up to their Cargo Explore. But before we get into the nitty gritty details, don't forget to tick that notification bell so you get told every time that we publish a great piece of content. Starting with the Rafa Core bib tights. Now these sit at the value end of Rafa's tight range and they're specifically designed to stand the test of time. Now they're made with a brushed back Italian fabric that offers a little windproofing but not massive but it's very comfortable and soft to touch. It makes them suitable for early autumn rides and they're what we call shoulder season tights, suitable down to about 5 degrees in temperature. The upper, so this bit here, is made from a high wicking material that breathes well when you're bent over on the bike. And there are a couple of nice finishing details on these tights, such as the tipping around the ankle cuffs. These tights that I have in my hands here are the Rafa classic bib tights and at 200 pounds they're a big old jump from the Rafa core models so what's the difference? If you pick them up you'll immediately notice that they're heavier and feel thicker than the Rafa core models and that's because they use a higher quality Italian fabric, a firmer Roubaix fabric which makes them warmer and uh, as a result these are suitable down to around zero degrees. The actual construction of these tights is different to the Rafa Core models as well. There's no seams around the knees, which is really important in reducing abrasion when you're pedaling along, and it helps reduce water ingress as well, keeping you drier. And then what's more, the panels around the front are bigger, which helps improve the comfort of the tights when you're sat on the bike. The classics are water repellent, especially on the rear and down the back of the legs to help guard from road spray. And there's a thicker Italian fabric used on the uppers to help keep you more insulated when you're riding along. But believe it or not, it's actually reflective detailing that costs a lot of money to be put onto a technical item of cycling clothing. And it's incredibly difficult to do this as well. So for example, this reflective panel here is actually inserted into the main body of the product. It's not just laid on top. And it has to be done like this to make sure it conforms well with the action of the leg when you're riding along and so the rider stays comfortable. It's also incredibly reflective. £10 is all that separates these, the Rafa Protein bib tights, from the Rafa Classic bib tights. So what exactly is different? Well, for starters, these are the most protective bib tights that Rafa make, and they're focused on training outside whatever the weather, and they're good down to around minus 5 degrees. On the front, all the way down the leg, is a proprietary Rafa three-layer membrane material, which allows excess heat to escape and to allow your body to vent, but prevents water from ingressing in, so it has added protection from the wet and the cold. And the back side of the tight is made from a more durable Italian fabric that increases elasticity and compression for a better fit and more comfort. The uppers on the front are water and wind repellent to keep your torso warmer because, and I didn't know this until recently, but if your torso gets cold in like cold wind and the rain, it actually increases the sensation of needing to pee. So Rafa have increased protection here because actually that keeps you on your bike for longer. So these tights come with increased reflectivity. So you've got the reflective Rafa logo here, reflective detailings down the side and on the back of the calves. And they come with a lower density chamois inside for a more aggressive riding position. So the difference between these and the Rafa Classic bib tights is the use case. If you are a rider who trains outdoors all year round, no matter what the weather, spend the extra £10 on the protein tights because they're more protective from the elements.
So at the top of the Rafa tight range sit these, the Rafa Explore Cargo Winter Tights, and they cost 240 pounds. So these tights have a focus on all day riding and then riding all night after you've ridden all day and are inspired by such events like Transcontinental and the riders that do them. So these tights have a fleece back fabric and a heavier DWR treatment and a more comfortable fit for all day riding. And this is something that's really important. They have no polyester content, which means they're really hard wearing because obviously you're designed to sit in these on an abrasive saddle for incredibly long hours. So they're designed to not wear around the pad or on the inside of the legs in your pedaling motion. At this point, the main thing that is pushing up the price of these tights is their incredibly technical construction. For starters, putting pockets onto tights is a very difficult thing to do because you have to make sure that when you zip it up, it sits properly and conforms properly with the material underneath. And when you fill this one up with all of your food, it has to not sag and pull the tights down and they have to sit comfortably. And then factor in the fact that they're asymmetric. So you might be loading this one up with heavy items and then loading this up with heavier items at different parts of the ride and they sit in different places and you have to make sure the tight feels comfortable on the rider's legs despite the varying loads. And then there's the reflective detailings which are really difficult to put on and cost a lot of money. And you can see that the whole backside of the calves are reflective and then there's dots across the backside here which is right in line with driver's eyesight to keep riders safe if they're riding at night time. There you go, those are the key differences between the Rafa bib type models from the cores all the way through to the Explore models here. Now, hopefully this video has answered any questions that you might have, but if you do have any more, then please do leave them in the comment section below and we'll endeavor to answer them for you. And if you have liked this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the Cycling Weekly YouTube channel. So really, the difference between these, the Pro Team, and the Rafa Classic Big Tights, Big Tights, Big Tights, Bib, 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 not Big. So the difference between these and the Rafa Classic, <laughs> shut up, Andrew. Thank <laughs> you.